I see you have come looking for the bows. With the air bow, you literally can become an airbender. This is insane. You've never seen a bow in Minecraft do this, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you. Today, we're crafting five god bows in Minecraft. One of them, which is so secret, I can't even show you guys because I don't even know what it is exactly. <laughs> We've got our elemental guide right here. He's gonna be showing us how to make them. I see you have come looking for the bows. And if you guys love these how to craft videos, make sure you smash that like button down below. Let's go for 100,000 likes. Check the chest and begin your journey by stepping through the portal. Aye, aye, Captain, what's in the chest? <gasps> We've got some iron gear, a godly bow warning message, run away now, give up. We ain't running away. Way, baby come on and into the portal we go we should probably put our gear on before we go into the portal but it is now time for us to get that portal so this is where we go to collect the items required for the earth bow i'm actually really looking forward to this welcome to the temple of the ancient earth this is a secret elemental shrine it was hidden deep in the realm and i found it by accident okay that is so not epic how do you find this by accident <laughs> little do they know i am a parkour king in fact i was raided and voted the number one parkour king on YouTube. If you don't believe me, go check my YouTube comments. In fact, if you think I'm the parkour king, go ahead and comment down below. Oh my goodness gracious, this is making me miss Minecraft parkour, dude. I love Minecraft parkour. It is so fun. Also, I don't want to be that guy, but... If you are wearing Preston Styles merchandise, you become a parkour king. This is, by the way, our brand new yellow fire brick tee out on PrestonStyles.com. If you guys want to go check it out. We also have a version of the t-shirt in black. If you guys are interested, it looks so cool. I don't know about you guys, but this looks like the ancient temple the guy is talking about. Oh, yeah. That's got to be a chief. Hold the phone. We've got magical tree roots, red mushroom, brown mushroom, emeralds, and god arrows. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but I've never seen a god arrow, so I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, we have a 6x6 six six crafting bench. This is kind of crazy. I don't know if you guys ever watched the show Avatar, The Last Airbender, but it's one of my favorite YouTube shows ever, and I actually really like the Earthbenders. I felt like the Earthbenders were always not the coolest or the most popular, but it was one of my favorite. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Earth Bow, the Earth rises to your will. This is the fun part. This is where we're gonna demonstrate what the earth bow is truly made of. So if you hold shift and look at any mob and you hit it, let's take that out. <laughs> if we shift and shoot a mob, it will literally explode. It doesn't matter how far you pull the bow back, the mob just explodes. And then the other feature will literally turn the ground up and down and watch what happens. It explodes and deals a crazy amount of damage. I'm sorry, cows, but I've got to demonstrate on you guys. Yeehaw! Uh oh cows, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Dude, these poor mushroom cows just got exploded. They no longer exist on this earth. Oh, we should test it out on the donkeys. Donkeys! Oh, these poor donkeys. Oh my gosh, these poor donkeys! <laughs> I just exploded like half of their flock. But we don't want to get too carried away on the earth bow because we still have four others to make. So let's get on to the next. The water bow, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, elemental guide. This is the shrine of Aquatus, the happiest seal that ever lived. This guy, he, no offense to the elemental guide, but he's really not doing a lot of work for us. He's just kind of telling us like, yeah, I think I saw a bow here like a hundred years ago or something like that but i'm too nervous to go up there and check it out i mean come on the least you could do is give me some fried chicken maybe some potato chips or some chicken tenders something like that to help us along our journeys or at least a map or something yo we're literally lost i have no idea where we're going right now okay you know what that means i'm blowing this temple up god dang, dang, oh i'm gonna kill myself no no this is not what i'm oh um, I don't think I was supposed to fall down here. <laughs> Yo, but wait a second. What is it? Okay, suspicious lever. You sense a shift in the temple. Maybe you can get inside now. See, this is to everybody, including my wife, who says you can't fix life by blowing stuff up. Sometimes you can. Oh, okay. This is a very suspicious looking entrance, by the way. The water bow better be worth it because I feel like we've gone through so much trial and error just to get over here. Oh, wait, I'm seeing a door. There is a door here. Oh, with the water bow. Okay, how do I get? You guys. I think it went up there. Let's blow this door up, baby. Wait, can we blow it up? Oh, oh, come on. No, 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 no. I need to blow this door up. 
No! No, you blind! Come on! Wait, wait! It worked! We actually blew the entrance! Let's go! Oh no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! While Rise in the background fixes my mistake, go ahead and take your phone, turn it like this, make that red subscribe button as gray as a cloud that's full of water. Thank you. And would you look at that because you subscribed? It's fixed. I don't know how I'm feel. Okay, so I'm not trying to be that guy or anything, but I feel like the water bow, you know, it's like the least cool. I'm not trying to be mean or be a bully to the water bow. I'm just saying, like, water bending wasn't my favorite in Avatar The Last Airbender. There was way other cool things, but I am interested to see the special abilities of the water bow, which apparently can control the seas and glaciers. We're gonna pop that water bow into our inventory. We've got now two out of five of the bows. If you shoot the water bow regularly, it creates sources of water, which actually could be really helpful if you're fighting somebody and they're running towards you and then you slow them down with water. If you hold shift, it spawns water around you, charges the bow up. Oh, here it is. Oh, it like creates this ice prison around everything. Oh my gosh, do you hear that? They're suffocating inside of there. So that means it's, wait, is it hollow? Is, oh, ow, okay, the pandas are attacking me. Oh, it creates a non-hollow ice structure suffocating anything inside of it. Let's do it again. Oh, okay, the water bow might be a little bit more overpowered than the earth bow. I need you guys to help me decide. Personally, I'm most excited for this one. This is the air bow. As you can tell, I did think that airbenders in the Avatar show was definitely the coolest type of elemental bending you could do. Okay, what's the elemental guide saying? He's like, I tried to teleport as close as I could to the air bow, but it must be up higher. See if you can find a way. Dude, this guy is no help. I wish we could shoot the elemental guide and just get rid of him. Wait, can I hold on? I'm gonna try something real quick. Can we just, then we can, we can take out the elemental guide. Yes, yes. Come on, come on elemental guide. My gosh, how big is this cloud? Oh, any last words elemental guide? Not bad, but not good enough. Good, oh my God. He fell so fast. Thanks to the water bow, I think the best way for us to climb these clouds is actually to use our water bow because we can create water sources that hopefully, I need you, no water sources. Okay, the water sources are supposed to come down towards us. There we go. I feel bad, dude. I kind of bad mouthed the water bow and I shouldn't have because the water bow right now is actually coming in mad clutch for us. The question is, which cloud actually has the air bow? Because there are so many different clouds right now. The water bow, by far, I'm taking it back. It's better than the earth bow because the earth bow can't, like it can't be used in terms of like utility. Does that make sense? The last cloud we must climb before we reach the, oh, what the heck is, okay, this, I almost went up those water streams and I think I would have died. Oh, do I really have to jump for this? <laughs> there it is. I think I see the air temple. That's gotta be it. This has got to be the air temple. I'm going to flood him with the water. Come here, air temple. I'm coming for you, brother. I'm going to ooga booga them toes, homie. Let me swim up this water thanks to the new aquatic update. And this is, okay, this is, this, 100%, this is the air temple with the air bow. Where are you at, air bow? Come over here. This has got to be it. Ladies and gentlemen, the air bow. The ingredients required, wind of the tornado, diamonds, nether stars, and dragon breath potions. <sighs> Another six by six crafting recipe. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna put the tornadoes. It looks like they go right here. We're gonna need four diamonds. And then we're of course gonna need our two dragon breath potions. And then finally, our four nether stars, which are gonna go right here, here, and over here. And we now have the air bow. By holding this, you have tamed the wind. Does this mean I am now Avatar the Last Airbender? Because I feel like it should. Oh, look at this. Okay, dude, check this out. With the air bow, you literally can become an airbender. You can fly. All you have to do is hold the shift key. And if you let go of it, I think... Yep, you fall, but then you can just press it right again and it lasts infinitely. You don't even need arrows. And while you're in the air, you can still shoot people. 
and I just created a tornado. <laughs> Wait a second. Did I just create a real tornado? So I can create tornadoes while flying in the sky. Wait, what happens if I go inside the tornado? Do I die? Okay, thankfully, it looks like if you have the wind bow, you do not get sucked up into the tornado, but... Oh, you can dual wield the bows. So I've got the water bow and... Okay, hold on, I'm gonna try this. Ready for this, guys? We're gonna do a hot swap. Yeet! Oh! Oh, I don't edit it. Did. And yeet him us. Okay, I hate to switch sides, but at this moment in time, the air bow is winning. The water bow and the earth bow just can't keep up. But y'all know this next one's my favorite. As the owner of PrestonStyles.com. Wait, what are these? Blazes? Get out of here. You guys really want to try? Okay, that's it. Water bow it is. Oh, get wrecked. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take you all out. Actually, I'm taking a lot of damage. I might need to eat some apples. Oh, let's, let's use our air bow and let's fly out of here. All right, I don't know. Do we have to kill all these blazes? What is going on? I didn't even get to finish my sentence. Take this. Eat a vortex. Vortex is for everybody. Yes. Anyways, as I was saying, as the owner of PrestonStyles.com, the world's hottest merchandise, I love fire. Plus, my character is made of fire as I'm currently burning. Uh, we need to find out where to go. I see a big sign right here that says, turn back now. And I'm starting to think maybe I should. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, how did I not die right there? Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, the secret. You blazes were trying to distract me. Didn't work out, did it, huh? Okay, they actually do a pretty good amount of damage, so I shouldn't be talking too much smack. Let's just... I'm gonna ignore the blazes for now. I don't really need them. Wait, wait, it's literally right here? That's it? Are you... <laughs> wait, okay, so we need the essence of the gods. The essence of the sun. It burns in my eyes. Then we've got eight gold ingots and four lava buckets. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and take all these items. Scoop, 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 scoop. Essence of the sun go down here. We've got the two gold ingots right here. The lava buckets definitely go right here like this. Nether, dude, nether stars are literally in every single crafting recipe. And thus, we have the power of 10,000 blazes, ladies and gentlemen, at our fingertips. I'm assuming we go through this portal. All right, that's it. We're testing this bad boy out. Oh! Streams of lava are created wherever you fire the bow. This is sick. And if you try to touch any lava or fire, the bow consumes them before it can damage you at all. Look at this. This is insane. You've never seen a bow in Minecraft do this, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you. Oh my gosh. This is epic. On top of that, if you do shift while you fire the bow, watch this. Yeet. Everything turns the fire around you, damaging the enemies. Take this! Oh my dude, this is so cool! This is probably one of my favorite bows, although it still can't make you fly like the air bow. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the final bow. We still don't even have the name of the new bow until we craft it. But it looks like we have to use our pre-existing bows and combine them all into one. Dude, I'm not even ready for this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm kind of scared. Okay, here it is. Essence of the gods. Four golden ingots, two diamonds, four nether stars, and finally, the special ingredients. Fire bow, air bow, water bow, and the earth bow, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the aether bow. I would never have guessed the name of the bow. What the heck? is the aether bow oh my yo this bow is the sickest looking bow i've ever seen in minecraft have you ever seen a bow this detailed or cool in minecraft i didn't think so and now i don't know how the elemental guide is still alive but he told me to go through this portal and destroy his enemy's house how do we know if this is truly his enemy we don't know but i really want to test out the abilities of the aether bow regardless okay let's see what this thing is made of baby oh oh my gosh Oh, wait, whoa, 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 look at the ground. Look at the ground. It, uh, lightning, fire, destruction. It's like all of the bows combined into one. Oh, dude, this bow should be illegal. Apparently, if you shoot a mob with the Aether Bow, everybody gets hit with lightning. So unfortunately, we're gonna test it on Bob the Villager. Oh, oh, what just happened? Wait, wait, um, okay. This bow is so powerful, I'm going to die easy. I'm not even strong enough to use the Aether Bow, ladies and gentlemen. That is how strong the Aether Bow is. And with that being said, don't forget to be a part of the Fire Nation squad. If you comment in the first 60 minutes of a new video being uploaded, your comments are going to be displayed right here. So make sure you comment. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.